Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me this morning. Perhaps you could just introduce yourself to start with. Yeah, my name's Andrew Farr um, and I'm the Principal Dentist at Broad Street Dental Surgery in Hereford. Personally been a Dent Plan member for five years now, but we, well, me and my wife Georgina who own the practice, we've only had the practice for about a year and we took over about two months before the first lockdown. So. That was great timing, really. Absolutely, absolutely. So perhaps you can tell me a little bit more about your practice. We're a fully private practice, uh, quite heavily involved with uh, with dental plan, really. Uh, most of our patients are dental plan, and we offer a, a whole range of, of treatments: general dentistry. Uh, we've got three hygienists. We've got another two associates. Um, we offer adult orthodontics, tooth whitening, and I've recently signed to um, introduce some dental implants as well. So we're trying to increase that side of the, the practice too. So was it always your goal as a practice owner? Yeah, I think after working, you know, as an associate for, for so many years, you, you, you get your own ideas, you, you know what, what sort of um, angles and, and directions you want to take. Um, so I, th I felt as if it was a natural progression, really. Um, yeah, timing so could have been a bit better. <laughs> what would you say are the benefits then of owning a private practice? The, the more control you have, um, over the treatments that you can offer. It is, even though dentistry is quite a, re um, a regulated profession, it, it, as a private practice, you can introduce the treatments that you want, um, use the materials that you want, and you can offer, I, I believe, a wider range of options to your patients and, and, and overall a better patient care. Could I ask how you would describe being a Demplan Excel practice in just three words? It's rewarding, confident. It gives us the confidence. So yeah, we're quite confident and and, and proud. We're proud to be a Dent Plan Excel practice. We wear this the mark with pride. I think it just gives you that that gold stamp, really, knowing that your your practice and it is at at a that level, um, not with you know legislations, policies, but also patient care. You're quite proud of being able to achieve that Excel accreditation, and 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 you know it is something. It is something to um, sing and dance about, and and I think the patients appreciate that as well, and they recognise the efforts that we go to to get to that next level. And do you use the DEPA assessment tool with your patients as part of Demplan Excel? Yes, um, yeah, the the Excel gives us that um, the the patient tool. Uh, we use that quite a lot. Patients pop it on their fridge. It becomes a, a great talking point and, and an educational tool where, you know, last last appointment, maybe they only scored, you know, 92%. Uh, and they and they immediately ask, well, what did I score this time? Where, where am I now? So it, it's, um, you know, it's a great motivational tool and, and patients, yeah, they really like it and they get on board. Fantastic. And perhaps we could talk a little bit about the support that Demplan provide for you, you know, as a new practice owner um, in what's obviously been a challenging first year of practice ownership, but also to your team as well. Obviously, this this year has been um, slightly tricky. We we knew that we would need um, support, uh, you know, just just basically because it was our first year anyway. But then obviously we had the pandemic, so it, it basically turned our whole ideas for the year up, upside down. And Denplan really, you know, they offered uh, great support when, when we were in lockdown. We, we had regular updates, we had the webinars and, the, and we had access then to the GP scheme. Um, and I and made sure that all of our nurses were signed up to that to give them, you know, a, an avenue really if they were feeling a bit, you know, run down or, or had any mental issues or, or ill issues they wanted to raise with the GP and they felt that they maybe couldn't raise it with myself. They had someone else to talk to, so that was really important. And obviously, our consultant Sarah has been <laughs> uh, been with us, helping us out. You know, constantly. You know, on the end of the phone, on emails, giving the updates all the time. So, so the support's been um, absolutely fabulous. If, if I'm honest. Thanks. <laughs> so do you feel supported as well in terms of regulation and compliance, and in what sort of ways has it benefited you? We have all the, you know, the, the SOPs from the DEM plan um, online. Everything is basically online. So we use the uh, the quality manuals, the, the cross infection manuals. Um, and then obviously with the Excel, we have the 
you know, when you you, you guys come in, you have a little look. Yeah, the practice advisor visit. Yes, yeah. that's it. Uh, and and that is really really advantageous because it's just another pair of eyes to make sure that we are actually doing everything and that we're not missing out at all. So uh, that that's really beneficial. Would you say that being a Dempan member has given you more control? I would say I would say it gives us the flexibility really um, to offer a wide range of treatment. I really struggle sometimes to talk to the patients about um, the cost of treatment. It removes that conversation from the general dentistry. The patients have already paid their monthly fee. Most of the treatment is included in that. Um, so you can focus more on on the education side of things. You remove that sort of elephant from the room, if you like. And, and patients are just a lot more relaxed because they are paying their monthly fees. We're, as a practice then, able to budget quite easily for, for the, you know, what, what we plan to do in the, in the future for the year ahead. What about your work-life balance? Does Dempa influence um, that at all, would you say? Gone are the days when I, you know, I, I've done the, the whole NHS treadmilling when you had to, you know, do so many UDAs before you took a, a week off on holiday. Because Demplan provides you with that regular monthly, you know, income, I suppose, then, um, like I said, you can budget. There's no stress, there's no strain to, to need to do more work before you go on holiday or, or have some time off which is important. Absolutely, absolutely. And talking specifically about the COVID-19 pandemic, which, um, you know, it has been such a, um, a, a large element of your first year of practice ownership. What was it like for you? How, how was the support there for you from Demplan? When when lockdown occurred in, in March, to say the practice was in a bit of a panic mode was, was an understatement, really. Um, we weren't quite sure what to do. Well, the practice would certainly have struggled to, to still be here now if it wasn't for Dan Plan. There would have been no income if it were solely fee pride, and there would have been nothing at all. So um, I can't really see how we would have survived as a practice without the support of Dan Plan. And then on the other side, when we were getting ready to reopen, then the, the amount of resources was, was invaluable. We were, we were ready, you know, we were ready before anyone else to be fit and, and I was confident that we had everything in place we had all the training in place the staff were rearing to go and that is because we had so much resource and so much help from them and um, we were quite excited to get get going again and what advice would you give other dentists who are considering private dentistry and Demplan and uh, the, specifically the Demplan Excel program there's three things I would say is quite quite important I think you need to you need to have a vision of what you want to achieve. You need to have a have an idea how you're going to get to that goal. Um, it's no point in having a vision, no point in having a goal if you can't plan out your your journey and how you're going to achieve that. And then the next part really is with the team and this and with Den Plan. You need to be able to communicate your vision, your goal and your journey that you want to, your practice and communicate that to your team, your hygienist, your nurses, your associates, get everybody in, in to believe in that ethos. And, and then I think you'll be able to build, you know, a really successful career and a successful private practice if everyone is singing off the same, same hymn sheet. <laughs> Absolutely. It's so important to keep everybody together. And looking more to the future, what are your plans for the practice? Oh, we have some great plans. <laughs> um, so at, at the moment, yeah, we're looking to update our um, digital x-ray system. So we've got um, got that coming in in end of February now. Um, and, and we're um, taking on new patients all the time. So we have one spare surgery, which one of our main aims is going to be to try and get that kitted out and expand into that surgery. Um, so we're, we're in the process now of, of clearing it out uh, and are ready to go. So things are looking really bright and we're quite excited about the, about the future. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the time. It's been great talking to you. Thanks.
No problem at all.